guys in this video I will show you the date picker of the app inventor cures okay the date picker uh, just select a date or it gives us uh, an interface to select the, uh, the date the first button of uh, this app is to open the date picker if you see here we can select the date the month the day and the year and if we click on ready in this case i'll put the, the select date on the button uh, the month could be with numbers or with uh, uh, letters and so we can give it a specific date for example if we select this date of 1997 at the moment that we open the date picker it will show this date and it's the same date of October of 97 we click on ready and the dates appear on the buttons okay I'll show you the blocks so for this we go to uh, the, the app inventory okay this is the interface of the app we just add a uh, date picker that is this a checkbox and a button that we have already seen them the button and the checkbox okay on blocks part and here i already have the events the date picker uh, has this element this uh, after date set is after uh, we put the date and it's the interface and then the same events of the tools got focus lot focus and talk but also i already i already explained the, these events this time i'll show you the specific events of this tool the launch picker just uh, call the interface of the date picker the set date to display it's uh, to give it um, a specific date with the checkbox okay and all of these background enable the font uh, i already explained all of these parts on the video of the buttons and i won't repeat it on every on each video okay the app uh, will do first when you click the ready button when you already select the, the date so we use this event and inside of the text of the date picker we will write uh, day month year like you see on the app so for this we use the complements of the date picker we need uh, the day Uh, the month I'll copy this so we need the month in, in text and year also another of day another of year and the text so to the join, first we add uh, the day, then uh, a text, which we will separate uh, with a slash. Okay, collocate here, and we add more strings. Now we put the month, the normal, slash, now the year, another place, and now we put uh, this symbol that is up on the top and under the, the ESC key, 
e uh, this is for the month uh, with letter and uh, with the number now the day the slash and uh, more strings Okay, then the month in text, slash, and uh, the year. Okay, the next thing is for when you click the checkbox, it will add one day, one month, and one year, like you see it on, on the app. So we use uh, a local variable, and we add uh, two more for day, month, and year. Okay, for this we use uh, numbers. We change uh, the name to day, month, and uh, year. And the day we put it on 21, 29. The month uh, will be 10. And the year nineteen ninety seven. So and now we put uh, the get. So on the year, year, the month, month, and day of the. Okay, so when we click the date picker button, it will execute the launch picker. That uh, it's a uh, event. Is this? Okay, we click. We. Okay, now let's test uh, the app. I'll connect my cell phone. And scan the code. I'm using the app uh, of, of the app inventor to connect it to emulate it. Okay, this is it. What you see is the same. We click and it appears. In this case, I will put uh, this date. We click on ready. And if you see on the button appears the date with numbers and with the letter. And it detects the language of this app. If we check the other date, it appears the date on the date picker. Okay, that's all for this video, guys. Don't forget to watch the recommended videos. Any question, leave it on the comments. Okay. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye.